What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and we are back, still in the hospital. Let's find out what we can about Harvey Fittick. Are you satisfied with your treatment here? Well, it's clear that I've chosen a bad time to be injured. Forgive my bluntness, but you seem overwhelmed by cases of the flu. I won't lie to you about it. I'm afraid we are. Are you sure you don't want to operate yourself, Dr. Reed? I have the feeling you're very capable. And your colleagues seem to think so, too. In other circumstances, you would be right. But for now, I don't think I can take on the responsibility. My apologies. Tell me about the doctors who are arguing about your case. Strickland and Aykroyd. They both want the best for me, but there's a lot of pride there. Doctors are no different from carpenters, it seems. What do you mean? I often had professional arguments with rivals on a building site. Difference is, I disagree about wooden nails, not flesh and bones. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Fiddick. I'm just a regular guy waiting to get his arm fixed, so I can return to work and to my family. I was more curious about what you were doing before being hospitalized. I'm a carpenter, and a good one too. But that means I need both arms to feed my family, Dr. Reed. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fitt. I will not let you down, my boy. He kind of seemed like a douchebag at first, but he's actually a pretty nice guy. Let's go this way. Wait, is this outside? Oh, yeah. Wow. Anybody can walk on in this thing? All right. I want to do the uh, midnight and then garden of good thing. I know there's some people on the second floor, too, but I have spent a long time... Thelma Talking Howcroft said she was being watched by vampire hunters. Where are they hiding? I should uh, investigate. It's locked. I'm sh Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague? Are you a doctor, too? Not anymore, sir. I used to be Dr. Rakesh Jadana. Now, I'm just Mr. Jadana. Pawnbroker and humble guardian of this morgue. What do you mean? You used to be a doctor. Was your license revoked? No, sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. But I used to be a real doctor. Sounds to me like this dude takes stuff off corpses. Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's... Lexa needs to be analyzed. Opium and codeine. Dude's got them drugs. Good evening. Do you work here alone? Yes, very easy work, sir. All I have to do is watch a few bodies. The situation was very different when the main morgue was still open. Why do you have to watch these bodies? Because these poor fellows have no names. We keep them in case someone comes looking for the missing. Sadly, very rarely happens. Why close the hospital's main morgue? It was for sanitary reasons after the beginning of the epidemic. Cadavers had to be moved to the nearest mass grave. Explains where I was. Are you afraid or uneasy being surrounded by so many corpses? Why should I? These bodies are empty vessels. Flesh left to decay. Poof. No soul anymore. All gone. How did you get this job? After I left the army, I worked as an undertaker down by the docks. A dangerous place with many an unpleasant business there. Milton Hooks helped me get a job here. An interesting point of view. And quite an exotic one, too. Most people fear, or at least have a respect, for dead flesh. Sir, as a medic during the war, I learned to face my death and the death of others. It's the pain we have to tame, not death itself. Have we met before? I don't think so, sir. Why? When we first talked, you said you were glad to meet me since I was reported dead. Funny story, sir. Your sister came here a few nights ago. You were missing, Ooh, and she sucks. was looking for your body. She must be very relieved now.
Since you're not afraid of dying, do you believe in life after death, Rakesh? No. I believe we must do all the good we can while alive. For our time is short, and the obstacles are endless. Do you think you would enjoy immortality as a concept? I don't think so. Don't mistake me. I love life, and I'd like to live a long life. But everything has to decay, sir. Even goodwill. Do you really believe goodwill cannot last? As I said, sir, everything decays. If I was to never die, goodness, I would be bored or worse. And I like to be helpful, sir. Quite depressing, wouldn't you say? Yes, but the good news is we'll all die before losing our humanity, sir. So you're ready to die? No, I am not. I don't fear death, for I won't see it. What troubles me is the pain my death will inflict to those I know. You're a wise man, Mr. Chidana. No, Dr. Reed. I am a foolish man. But I like to think otherwise. A pawnbroker? I expect you get all types of people here. Yes, sir. All kind of people. For I sell all kind of goods. What kind of goods? With the quarantine, it's not always easy to buy things. So I trade. I exchange. Some people sell. Some others buy. I like to help. Who comes here to trade with you? It's very unhygienic. Even unsafe. Diseases can spread. For the customers. For the hospital. I'm very cautious, sir. I've been a doctor, remember? And all my clients are good people. In fact, I think I only know good people. Mm. Goodbye, mister. All right. Well, now he's done. I cannot enter. And I... Never saw. Uh, charging people to come into the hospital. Where are you? Good evening, Doctor. I believe we're going to be working together. Dr. Reed. Dr. Swansea informed us of your arrival, but I could not dare to believe we'd have such good fortune. Such an honor, sir. <laughs> Thank you. And you are? I am Thoreau Strickland. Dr. Thoreau Strickland. I'm a great admirer of your work, Dr. Reed. Mm, yes, are you? Mm. Please, could you tell me something about yourself? I'm a great admirer of your work concerning blood transfusion, Dr. Reed. I run my own experiments. I'm convinced it's the future. I based my technique on my mentor's research. He helped me perfect my method. What is yours? I'd rather not talk about it. For now, it's just theories and first approach. My process is purely experimental and unsuccessful. As long as you're cautious and methodical, You may remain empty-handed, but you won't fail. You're not the first one to warn me. But I am convinced knowledge is the main weapon against the ravages of this epidemic. What made you choose to be a doctor? I'm not ashamed to admit you and your work have inspired me. I am honored to have the opportunity to work by your side. It's kind of a kiss-ass. It's always a pleasure to share scientific and medical knowledge with someone eager to learn. I'll be glad to help you if I can. This epidemic may be the century's most terrible disaster, but I'm convinced that we, as doctors, are the only ones able to defeat it. What can you tell me about the Pembroke? Well, it has always been an honor to work with Dr. Swansea. But with your arrival, I can't think of a better opportunity to learn about blood transfusion. You seem quite optimistic. It's a rare and precious attitude in these difficult times. I'm convinced that this epidemic is a test. A test of endurance and dedication for us men of science. Questions re remain about our capacity to resolve the situation. I thought it skips a little bit every now and then. Last summer, during the first wave of the epidemic, I used to joke with Milton about the extra work. We're not smiling now. Do you need help with anything in particular? 
Well, yes, maybe. I'm waiting for a batch of products I ordered for my personal research, yet my supplier seems to have vanished. Do you want me to play the errand boy for you? Oh, no, Dr. Reed. But if you went personally to his shop, what with your reputation and all, he wouldn't dare to refuse the products I need. I see. Well, give me the address, for I may pass by if I have time. Tell me more about your willingness to experiment with new medical techniques. Harvey Fiddick is a patient suffering from a severe injury that could cripple him if not treated correctly. I'm convinced your blood transfusion technique could help him. What is it you really want? To save him or to prove your point? Fair question. I want nothing but to save my patient, Dr. Reed. Especially since I know Mr. Fiddick's story. Tell me Mr. Fiddick's story. Our first diagnosis was compromised because Mr. Fiddick lied to us about the real origin of his injury. He first claimed it was an accident. But why would he hide such crucial information from us? Because he is a proud father, ashamed of putting his children at risk because of his own negligence. What? Harvey is blaming himself for his injury. This personal involvement could also appear to be a lack of impartiality. You must know that a good surgeon must remain neutral. I agree. But that does not excuse Dr. Aykroyd's behavior, a man who did not even take time to converse with his patient. Do you think keeping his distance was a mistake? All I know is that I'm taking care of human beings with desires, hopes, and fears. Not some biological machine comprised of blood, bones, and flesh. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. Alright, so there's the other doctor I gotta find. Um, hospital. Where is the. I'm gonna go do that. I'm guessing you are the doctor I have not met yet. Hey, come here, you blood bag. Oh, why can't I talk to this guy? Here we go. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I believe we're going to be colleagues. Reed? Yes, I've been informed about your arrival. I'm Waverly Aykroyd. Welcome aboard, I suppose. Does my arrival inconvenience you in some way, Dr. Aykroyd? Let us just say that I don't particularly share Dr. Swanson's enthusiasm for hiring you. What we need here are reliable professionals, not overrated dabblers. Okay, uh, maybe you can die? Tell me, Waverly, what do you think of Dr. Strickland's enthusiasm for his experimental research? Strickland is playing with his patients' lives for pride and glory. Now that, sir, is unethical. Are you thinking about something in particular? Harvey Fiddick needs delicate surgery. I believe we should stick to the usual procedure. But my young colleague obviously disagrees. Why do you wish to lead this surgery? I strongly believe that Mr. Fiddick should not be butchered to test an unproven procedure. Other people may say that's too conservative a point of view. Conservative? And what are you going to say to Mr. Fiddick if he loses his arm because of the operation? Because that's what's going to happen if the surgery is a failure. And are you not afraid that your rivalry with Strickland may be blinding you? Rivalry? I guess you could call it that. But I will never be childish enough to let my personal feelings affect my judgment. If you have a problem with me, Dr. Aykroyd, please feel free to tell me. Dr. Swansea has imposed your presence on this hospital without asking anyone's advice. The benefit of his position. But I don't agree with it. I know we've never met before, but I believe this hospital could use all the help it can get. You will agree with that, I'm sure. Oh, but I have heard about you, Dr. Reed. Of course, you can't say the same about me, since I have not wasted my time courting the press. You are going to change your tone with me, my dear colleague. 
and very quickly. I don't think so. Perhaps you think yourself protected by Dr. Swansea, but I am still a free man, and I will speak to you the way I want. Bro, you can speak to me how you want. Since your Let's just say Careless. I'm tired of listening to this guy talk. He is getting fucking mesmerized. Do you need my assistance? Not at all. Thank this you dude's getting time. mesmerized and he is that he is my first snack. I mean he's a doctor, he's clearly intelligent, but he's also a massive dick. I'm gonna fucking kill him. Way. That's right, I think I got a new weapon. Five. So it'll do more damage. It's locked, all right. Oh, Skull. Skull voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. I will bite you, vampire. Weakling. So he's dead. It should be a poached my blanket. The cold will be my death. <laughs> Got the blanket stolen. Six. Another one, huh? Bunch of these guys are here. Oh shit. And these things are level seven. Need blood. Blood. Huh. Milton and Pippa forever, huh? So Mr. Hooks and Nurse Hawkins are an item. Those two have hidden their affections well. Careful about uh, messing with anybody else. Wait, a bit of damage to me. Oh yeah, Smilton. I may have learned some Good things evening, about Doctor. you. Still trying to save lives. I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over? I retrieved your wallet. With all the money, and a certain picture. Well, yeah, Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not at all, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway. To remind you to keep your mouth shut. Not everybody's as broad-minded as you, Dr. Reed. Forty shillings! What's going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? Pippa's tired. Tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. She's as depressed as I am. During the war, 
I witnessed a few couples just like you come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very damaging. Maybe you're right. But we support each other, and that's all that matters. You do realize you could both get fired. Hospital staff are not meant to have intimate relationships with one another. Come on, Dr. Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. I mean, I'm pretty sure most of the people here are volunteers anyway. Goodbye, Milton. Where is Pippa? Somebody I have not met. I think I can reach that, unless, no wait, are they, yeah, they're definitely inside, wonder who you are, they're in that bed. So many deaths, a lot of my own life. My blood and soul. You now. The life Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Heard you've been up to some shit. Pepper. I know you're very close to Milton Hooks. Yes. Milton Hooks is my man. If you want to report me for that, just feel free, Doctor. I have no intention of reporting you, Nurse Hawkins. But are you aware of the risks? The rules say I won't be allowed to work as a nurse anymore. But here at the Pembroke, we break rules all the time. Is he worth the risk? Hey, I'm no perfect woman, and Milton is not the finest bloke. But we do our best to get by. That's all any of us can hope for nowadays. Wait, hey, wasn't she the one that... I don't give a fuck about that. I want to know about her charging the lady for a bed. Goodbye, Nassau. Alright, let's go up to the second floor before we wrap this episode up. We'll finally close the damn loop on the, uh, the hospital stuff. Certainly not there. Uh, doctors. <laughs> Dr. Tippett, Strickland, and Acker. Dr. Reed. Ah, yes. An office to myself. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. The flower's dying. It needs water. Locked, locked, defensive. So, well, the only thing is I only get two abilities, unless I can actually have four abilities, and... Stronger, time of the control is increased. That's cool. The targets of blood will burst out of their body, flowing towards your mouth to feed you without touching your prey. Wow. Alright, let's start working towards that. That sounds pretty badass. Blood barrier sounds kind of meh. Um... That will increase the... What do we have here? We have... 3% blood when using bite. Uh, slight heal. How high does this get? It goes up to a 50% heal. I feel like I'm let. Now, let me just save my points, maybe. Science. 
Syringes, bullets. Uh, I think I'll save. Maybe go to thirst. Can't go there. Could I go shadow mist here? Nope, it's level 8. 10, 10, 10. Bullets. Following night. Oh no, so I do can put it on right trigger. Alright, so I could get another ability on then. That works. Alright, well, uh, we are going to wrap things up here for now. I am now level 5. Got enough XP that I could go for level 6. Maybe I will, I will pick up something aside from... Uh, Blood trap. I'm not sure if I want spear or claws, though. They're both good. Anyway, we will figure it out later today. So stay tuned. We'll catch you guys then with more vampire.